Hey, what's going on, guys? Coming again the year. In this video, we're going to have a look at the game played by Liu Dahua versus Huan Yun in 1991 within the Chinese na National Championship. Uh, but before we start, just a few words. Uh, so I'm not a uh, I'm nobody to <laughs> highlight master games. Uh, I'm playing CNC only for a couple of weeks, maybe no more. And I'm actually the developer of this uh, application, which is written in pure JavaScript and only using a bit of bootstrap for styling and responsiveness of, of this web page. So this is the web browser being open full screen. Uh, and I've created this app. Uh, uh, well, actually, I've started with creating a chess engine uh, that plays CNC. But then I've created a couple more apps. So one to solve the puzzles, uh, which is under development at the moment. It's working, but not really that many puzzles there. And one of the apps is this game viewer. So it has uh, more than 1,000 games bundled uh, into the app. Uh, all the games are played by Liu Dahua, and the games are scraped from World Census Federation site. And we're going to be having a look at the game number two, so feel free. So I'll give you a link in the description below the video, so you want to be able to, rep to, to have a look at the game on your own and make your own analysis much better than mine. So the reason for making this, me this video is more like to showcase the capabilities of the app and a new feature of restoring the position after uh, either user or engine analysis. And it's incredibly handy because in the previous attempt I didn't yet have this button and it was a real pain just to take the move back then restore it and just lose the entire picture. It's very annoying. So uh, again, like, don't judge it too much from the CNC perspective uh, and better focus on, uh, you know, like I'm just trying to showcase like the app itself, the, the programs, the program. So I really hope that uh, some of you guys who are actually making videos on uh, highlight, highlighting Green Master games, so some of you who are playing CNC well, I really hope you can make use of this uh, program in your own uh, videos on your channels. Uh, it's incredibly easy. You can paste your own games. So feel free to ask any questions within the commentary. So again, like this is more like a showcasing and. I really hope you like it. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the game. So, Liu Dahua kick starts with uh, centralizing his cannon, so one of the most uh, popular moves, uh, strictly attacking uh, this sort of a pawn here, and Quan Yun responds with solidly, uh, with the knight defends the pawn. So now this this pawn is covered, and oh, pretty standard opening so far, just developing pieces. Uh, by the way, this the knight has already been protected by this cannon. So, uh, and uh, the first interesting move, well, I'm not sure whether this is the opening theory or not, probably it is. Uh, so it's a very interesting move. Uh, when I first saw this like moves, I couldn't understand what's the reason for doing them. But for noobs like me, I can explain. So now if, say, uh, black develops the knight, let's say white goes somewhere, and now knight can really go forwards, can be promoted to attack the king before actually this pawn uh, goes further. So in this case, takes, takes, and knight goes. So we did develop a knight to the center, but uh, with the price being the price of uh, sacrificing the pawn. So this might not be that great. Uh, by the way, here the knight can even be captured. So it's not an option at all. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, I had to restore the game. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so... Uh, uh, oh, actually, no, no, it's, 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 it's not that disastrous yet. So yeah, let me. I, I should press this R button. Didn't that didn't get used to this myself? So, so we have the hints. So go to first move, go to last move, make engine move. So what engine suggests in this position? Okay, uh, restore position back to the move where we, where we stop within the game. Go into next move. Go into the last. Move. So again, like uh, let's say engine goes here and some development move. Then let's say black wants to defend the knight. Then we don't have neither uh, neither this move or here because the knight just simply gets captured by the pawn because after crossing the river you remember like pawns going uh, going sideways so this uh, move can be so now again restore the position so this is a very positional move preventing the uh, entire left flank of black pieces to to develop and on the other hand there's absolutely essential response to make the same for whites uh, for reds sorry sorry for my international chess backgrounds uh, so exactly the same idea. So now we go here, takes, and now the knight develops wherever it just get captured, and that's not that's not a good idea at all. So we have like 
the left side would be allowing the knight to attack for reds and uh, for blacks. This is the same for the for this for the right side. If, if we talk from the uh, red side perspective, so let's have a look what happens next. Uh, so calmly developing a knight, strengthen the center. So you see, like the, both knights protecting the center. By the way, for those of you who uh, is not uh, comfortable with these Chinese pieces, you can use the Romanized pieces as well. It's not a big deal. Also, you can check another board theme if you're interested, but uh, I'm really uh, sticking to this traditional notation. It's really handy for me, the, not distract, not getting distracted by, by the pieces. Also, uh, also, we can flip the board from the opponent's view. So let's say uh, when I watch the Udahua games, I always prefer to see from his perspective, but in this case, he's playing red, so no need for flipping the board here. So just, just to give a, a couple of ideas on how, uh, how, what we can do with this app, we can load our own PGNs and download. But if you want to download this game, it's not obvious to make this download them one by one, which is also possible, but you can just bulk download the entire database and the links would have been in the description below the video. I have 40,000 games being scraped from World Six Sensi Federation. And okay, let's move further on. So developing the night. Well, I think this is the opening theory so far. And now, the, the, now this move, uh, I've seen this really uh, many times in games by Liu Dahua, so the idea is very simple. Uh, so he wants to, let's say, uh, let's say black just makes a move. Well, not this one, because, yeah, rook gets captured, I'm sorry, so it's, it's a bad idea. So let's say black just makes a move, and in this case, Liu Dahua is going to exchange, is going to exchange uh, the pawns and put a cannon here in this fall. So that's the idea. So let's restore the position and see what happened within the game. So uh, uh, protecting the king with the bishop, okay. And now Liu Dahua goes for this plan. So wants to offer us the exchange of pawns. Take and take stakes. So they accept that this has been accepted. Well, again, I'm not sure whether this is this th uh, the opening theory or not, but let's have a look. And now uh, again, like so. Uh, now black is making use of uh, uh, of this extra space he gained from uh, exchanging the pawns. So he can now uh, promote his own knight, and knight would potentially cross the river one day and try to attack. It's not capturing this pawn at the moment, it's protected by two pieces. Well, so knight is not going anywhere at the moment, but still it has some prospects now. But unfortunately black is gonna lose this game or hopefully or fortunately it's hard to say uh, so developing the rook and at the same time hitting the ca the black cannon so uh, the uh, rook uh, defended the cannon move is is actually forced here otherwise cannon would go to the board edge and that that would be not that great really okay now uh, infiltrating with the rook into the opponent's camp already so it sort of starts the start of the aggressive attack here Okay, just develops the rook to uh, potentially redirect here or here, just uh, to put the rook, rook on the open file to support the f further attack, potentially. Okay, uh, I'm slightly a bit confused by this move uh, when I first saw this, but then I realized that uh, Liu Dahou is simply pushing his pawn forwards to exchange it and to open the prospects uh, against uh, against the black king. So that's the idea. And as I was mentioning, so rook is... Uh, now on the open fall, so would it be supporting the attack potentially? Okay, so Liu Dao uh, pushes his plan even forward. So now he wants to exchange the pawn. Actually, he sacrifices the pawn and now attacks it with the rook. So if rook takes, rook would be incredibly active and torturing black king horribly here. So uh, he defend. Well, actually, this is the pawn sack. So. It threatens to take the rook, but this pawn, this pawn is not protected by anything, so Liu Dehoa simply captures this pawn. And now he's, now he's trying to go for some attacking, for some attacking options. Well, I think that he was, go, he was uh, uh, I think that Huan Yon was uh, hoping to probably exchange the knights in this way. And in this case, black also have some counterplay. But this, did, but this didn't happen in the game. Instead... Liu Dahua captures the pawn and leaving his knight, so now the knight can't be captured. This didn't happen in the game, and this is already a very interesting thing to analyze, and we can also uh, use the engine assistance because I'm not that great 
<laughs> I'm not I'm not good enough to to find the variation as a human so why it would be a horrible idea to actually uh, capture uh, with the knife so let's say black uh, let's say uh, well what what is what what is the threat now so if uh, if red moves his rook away then this cannon would be attacking the king but well I don't know how horrible this is but anyway let's say that instead of uh, protecting the king with an advisor, with an, adv with an advisor. Uh, let's say instead, uh, Juan Yun would take uh, an unprotected, uh, an unprotected uh, knight here. So what happens in this case? So let's ask the engine what actually happens. Uh, so in this case, we, so this is the check. You see, like now, uh, cannon attacks the king, and probably well i'm not sure but probably he just loses a rook here yeah i think he just loses the rook is that the case so let's ask another engine move okay and yeah and just losing material so that, that that's very simple idea so if he takes if he takes this knight he just ends up losing material that's that's very simple so yeah just just losing material and i think that after this uh uh, black king is too exposed and probably this is gonna end as a, as a total disaster so you see like with this engine a simple en engine analysis only one second per move for an engine I didn't make uh, it variable here just to uh, avoid torture and user with, with some additional options but uh, if somebody requests a, a longer engine analysis this is also possible but it's blocking it's input blocking at the moment so it might not be really that great idea but anyway so we just see why uh, black didn't capture this knight so let's restore the position and see what actually happened in the game and in order to open this uh, engine analysis i've just uh, opened my developer tool by the way what's the error is there really wondering it's probably oh uh, it must be doesn't even show okay it doesn't matter so let's see what happened in the game instead so instead uh Black actually protects from this discovered check. So if Rook goes here, that would be a check. Now it's no longer an option. And now actually, uh, finally, uh, red takes. But you see the difference. So uh, you see the difference. Well, this position, or if we had, say, uh, instead of, or say we had this position. Uh, well, I'm not sure could actually... Uh, yeah, it seems like the same. I don't know why this was. Well, pro probably, probably Luda I just wanted to create this tactical complications. I don't know. Well, let's let's see how the game goes. Yeah, it's, it seems like the position is. Uh, oh no, it's not the same. Hold on a sec. Nope. Hold on a sec. I just really want to watch this precisely. So let's say it takes, takes here and yeah and then he needs to go here or otherwise there would be the discover check right and how horrible is this and if I sacrifice the rook then given a check oh I can't oh sorry yeah oh yeah sorry it went a little bit too far okay so yeah let's <laughs> I don't want to do things that I don't know how to do so let's let's follow the game and this this is the position that we have in the actual game so uh so what did he just do okay so put it put in the cannon uh away to avoid it getting captured by the rook okay and what this threatness so this cannon now attacking the advisor but yeah so it actually can capture and kin is not going to be recapturing back because the rook uh, would, it be, would it be protecting this this sort of a cannon so yeah but it seems like uh, Liu Dahua completely ignores this threat so he's okay to drop the bishop and trying to push the pawn I don't know potentially maybe to potentially get rid of this knight yeah probably yeah, just to drop the knight back so if this if this say this move doesn't happen say uh, say actually he captures now so it's not now now he's threatening to take the rook yeah, so you just can't push the pawn immediately. But, well, let's say just step aside with the rook. I don't know. Let's say 
let's say black just makes a move but after this so knight here it can't get captured so now it would be pushed back so th th this is too too slow actually so i think yeah it's not an option so instead instead of going for this variation restore instead of going for this variation uh juan yon actually uh, tries to get rid of the pawn and simultaneously at the same time like he attacks the knight so if nothing to be done then this knight is gonna get captured oh no sorry sorry guys bullshit from me no it's not gonna get captured because it's actually protected by the cannon i'm, I'm so sorry so i still blunder in this uh cannon pins okay so anyway developing the rook so getting re getting away from that potential threat of attacking the rook as i've been showing you in the, within the variation uh now this seems to be like an offer to exchange the cannon so say this can so now let's say this is the variation offer so takes takes and now the knight is under fire and the rooks are very active so let's say if knight goes somewhere here then we at very least we can just grab uh this cannon or we can check here and then grab the cannon and uh, black are getting is getting really active here so this, this is uh, i think that just uh red just uh, sleeps the advantage it's, it's not really that great idea to, to consider in this position so instead uh Liu Dahua actually just uh, moves moves his knight away uh so now he he is offering a different exchange so takes here and the knight takes i think this is what has happened no it's not what has happened in the game so we can see so he offers this variation so takes takes and actually he also drops the bishop but this doesn't seem to be uh that bad idea because he just uh wins some a couple of tempos here so it's probably better for uh to go for an attack but anyway let's see what happened within the game uh so the exchange of uh this uh cannons is now uh, offered so but instead yeah black just grabs the bishop so it's greedy from the material perspective but now instead yeah actually red captures black captures and let's okay so oh no it's, it's not sorry it's not the rook it's, it's 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 the knight yeah so knight is going to join the attack somehow so unclear to me to my noob's eyes it's a bit of unclear well so as far as rook is protecting this rank i think that the threat was well let's say let's say black d does nothing in this position so probably this is the idea so hidden I, I i don't know even or maybe uh or maybe even worse maybe let's say here okay restore the position whose move is this oh yeah it just makes some dumb move for black here okay let's make another dumb move for black so probably here so uh, i guess this is the plan i might be wrong though and let's say here i can't even check because knight takes yeah but i can't just if knight say goose well th this is absolutely fantastic variation that would never occur within the game uh, yeah but here is this already yeah it seems like a checkmate i just want to check this with my engine to make sure that this is a checkmate oh no it's oh i just blundered the piece okay that <laughs> okay i'm sorry guys that's why uh it's a bad idea to make videos on master's game because i can't see anything on the board but at very least it seems like uh we can conclude so if the rig drops back to this rank it just wants to prevent the knight from infiltrating over the river so i think that's the idea uh so putting pressure uh on black's position well act actually in particular attacking the the black cannon by the rook here uh is this ignored oh it's it's not it's not a threat because uh, the rook uh, this rook is uh, protected by this advisor so can capture just lose loses an exchange it's, it's gonna be bad uh, really uh, uh, losing all the attacking potential here okay so defensive move okay so this is forced because well otherwise let's make some dumb move in this case 
this is gonna be uh, extremely horrible so not to be not to recapture the rook and I guess is this at least gonna be a mate just want to check this with my engine here yeah so this is the mate okay so in order to avoid this uh, mate in two actually is threatening right so red protects so now no no this capture of the advisor is no longer possible okay uh this move protects the knight so rook drops back attacking hitting the knight at the same time while the bishop actually protects the knight okay uh i'm not sure regarding this move what's the idea so i think the king was quite pretty safe there but for some reason well maybe maybe he's trying to yeah probably he tries to support the attack let's say potentially redirecting rook here and then takes 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 well it's not a mate yet but the, the, i think that kin is simply joining into the attack because you you know like we can have the opposite kin's position that's illegal okay infiltrating into black's camp okay moves i don't understand okay hits the cannon okay so just the exchange of rooks nothing much okay uh i'm just wondering why he didn't take why he, so what happens if he takes the pawn so let's ask the engine what happens oh sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> okay uh okay it's clear so i can't just take it because it's protected blind code monkey king can't see anything blundering anything anything okay uh offers the exchange of rooks now so takes takes let's see what happens within the game no so Liu Dahua wants to keep the attacking potential so i guess now he, he's going to move wants to move the rook here to attack the king so yeah king wisely drops back to his safe position okay and now the pawn is joining the attack somehow well probably it's gonna be going to the right trying to attack the rook it's most likely what happens yeah okay that's what's gonna happen okay hitting the rook now probably would push the pawn forwards or no he just drops it there right so i don't even know what will happen okay oh so it, seem, it seems like no it doesn't seem anything i don't know what does this move mean another strange move i have no idea so what he wants to do with his bishop okay okay rook hits the knight ignores this okay so bishop was redirected to make bishops more active in the king defense i guess that was the idea whoa now this is getting really interesting so it doesn't take the knight uh, i'm just wondering is this a bad idea so i would have take the knight so but what happens okay <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm sorry guys yeah we can't take the knight because it's protected so we're a logical thing so now we can take the knight takes and threaten to win the knight finally yeah I i'm always blundering this this cannons yeah it's it's a it, cannon is a very tricky piece in cnc so i'm all, I, I was blundering but hopefully unfortunately the engine allows us to avoid these disastrous uh blunders and yeah at least we can make sure that we're not blundering anything engine is not great in the strategic plans but at least it's quite good in tactics okay so here what's what confuses me a little bit so can we just cap uh, can ah oh, so yeah if, even if we go for check so it just protects and we can capture because just getting captured by the rook so it's not an option so instead Liu Da Hua goes for okay so he attacks the bishop at the moment and if the bishop moves somewhere uh then this bishop would be really weak so probably re uh, rerouting this uh rook back to hit the bishop J just trying to uh, get rid of the black's defense i think that's what's happening oh my god he doesn't even protect the bishop he doesn't protect the bishop but on the other hand hold on a sec so why it doesn't take okay let's say he takes and what happens okay again so is that is that really bad so it takes let's make an engine move 
I don't know, is this really bad? So now I can check. Okay. Well, probably, probably it just doesn't work. I don't know. Yeah, it, se it seems like just a good defense there. Yeah, probably, probably that's the reason why I didn't capture the bishop. So let's restore the position and see what happened within the game. Okay, so... Yeah, Ludachla just prepares his attack and potential, coordinating his pieces. And now he finally goes for an attack. Okay, so takes the bishop. Now, oh man, now, is this mate threatening? Yeah, it seems like, well, let's say... Hold on a sec, I just opened the engine to make sure if this is the maiden one is threatened. So let's make some dumb move for uh, black and make the engine move. And this is the mate, yeah. At very least I saw maiden one, not that bad enough, not, not that bad already. Okay, so the maiden one is threatening. Uh, so black should do something to this. Okay, just limiting the scope of the red cannon. Well, nice defense, okay, but this shouldn't help. Okay, I really love how Lu Dahua uses his pawns when they cross the river by mo moving them them sideways. That's that's why I that's what I never do. <laughs> I don't even manage to <laughs> cross the river with the pawns. I'm um, getting made it uh, before that happens. Yeah, I only win. Uh, I only won one single game versus a human player. I was practicing with my engine on a very low level, uh, but yeah, but that's kind of. Okay, guys, okay, so let's see what happened. So, pawn wasn't about to be captured because it's actually protected by the knight. So, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, here, here are the moves that I don't really understand, to be honest. Well, I feel like red is much better, uh, but I don't. Know, but I don't know how to win here. And yeah, it feels like that Ludaha really knows how to win in this position. Okay, so why did he? Why did he give up his advisor? So this is strange. So well, let's say. I don't know. Let's say. Let's say just develop his knight. I don't know. So what happens in that case? Okay, is this mate again? No, it's not a mate. Hold on a sec. But probably something very bad should should happen. Oh, don't tell me that my engine is going for a repetition. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit downside of an engine. Well, okay, so let's restore the position. So for some reason he drops, okay, takes, check, okay. It's the knight. Now the knight is coming here to check again. So it seems like an execution already. Okay. I'll probably try to torture this cannon with a pawn. Uh, not at the moment, because if pawn goes forward, to just get captured by the advisors, so it's not a good idea. Oh my god, does, does he sacrifice, does he sacrifice a cannon? Sorry guys, just my wife was walking around, so I, I get completely distracted from the game. I'm really sorry for this. So, uh, why we can't capture, uh, why we can't capture... Oh, because of losing material, probably that's the case. Probably that is the case. But yeah, still seems like made here somewhere very close. Seems like uh actually pawn moves should be a mate. Is this gonna be a mate? Made in two, yeah. So I think the pawn moves is ending the game. Yeah, this is mate. So actually, uh yeah, it seems like it seems like actually taking this uh, taking this cannon would uh, lead to the mate. Well, probably Lu Dahua found a faster way to mate 
his opponent. I'm not sure. So let's see what happened. Okay. Oh, actually resign here. So he just got here, here, and in this in this position, black resigned. So okay. Uh, well, before asking for an engine assistance, let's try to solve this as humans. So at the moment, so well, let's say, let's say I take. So what engine responses to me? Okay, so he gives me the knight. Uh, is there a faster way to checkmate? Well, okay, let's take. What's what's next? Uh, how to win this? Maybe like this. Oh, this was this was a bad idea. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't lead to a win. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I, I'm just too dumb to solve this. Uh, I see that red is crushing, but let's see the engine variation. Uh, okay, so he captures he captures with the knight. Yeah, now King is forced to drop back, and then probably simply knight goes here, I guess, to check. Okay, let's have a look. Oh my god, it captures. What did he capture? Okay, let's let's see again. He captured the yeah, the advisor. So no 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 no. Hold on a sec. Restore the position. Oh, probably engine found a better move. I don't know. Takes. Yeah, now, now it just goes for a different variation. Well, that's because the transposition table with Imagine uh, has been updated and now he finds uh, a different variation here. Takes, takes, takes. And made in four. Shows made in four here. And this. And this is such a fantastic mate here okay so no more moves well interestingly so it seems like there were uh, really kind of different possibilities but anyway red crushingly wins and that's the reason why uh, why i won this game and one yun actually resigned well, okay guys this is it from my side uh i hope you've enjoyed the game as well as the game viewer that i've created if you want to play against the engine I've been using here for an assistance, well, let me just restore my browser. Uh, so, uh, all the links would be in the description below this video. I also want to restore my... Uh, okay, just do this a little bit later on. I'll probably just go in full screen mode. Okay. Uh, so, if you want to play with the engine uh, that I've used here, it's very simple. I'll give you a link in the description below the video, so uh, you can just play online here. It has uh, the same, literally the same interface for playing, uh, but instead of games, you have the players, starting from the random player. Uh, I'm here as well, but you can checkmate me with a fool's mate quite easily. And then stronger and stronger. Eventually, we you can even play versus Liu Dahua himself. This is the bot representing the uh, play of Liu Dahua. It's based on the games. Uh, 1,145 1, games by Liu Dahua used as, as an opening book for this bot. Also, you can play versus Hu Donghua here. And uh, Hu Donghua thinks for 3 seconds. Liu Dahua thinks for 5 seconds. The default character, Sun Kun, the guy <laughs> given the name to this engine. I guess it's called Ukun Sensi. Uh, he's playing for one second, but he has a uh, incredibly big opening book. So uh, it has uh, um, an opening book based on forty thousand games, and below the uh, and all the guys below, uh, let's say they almost don't have any opening book at all. Maybe just a, a few, j just a single line. So it's, it's easier to play with them. So yeah, actually. Uh, that's that's how it goes. So if you want to play versus Liu Dahua, you can just start. And as soon as you would be hitting the moves available in his games, this would be kind of like the book move. 
So we can actually try to... Uh, so how did Liu Dahua play? He played this pawn move, right? He didn't touch the rook. I don't remember. Yeah, I, sh I should. I should really. Yeah, seems seems the opening variation so far. Okay. Then he played with the cannon, forcing the exchange. Yeah. Uh, probably I'm already out of the book here. Okay. So mm, maybe let's develop the knight first. Oh, uh, okay. And well, as far as Cannon has moved. I cannot put the rook, put a pressure on the rook here. Go in here. Well, this might be really interesting to play with. Okay. And well, I don't know. No, not, definitely not here. Definitely not here. Well, unfortunately, I'm a very bad player. So I don't even know what, what to do. And th this is a very strong version of the engine, so yeah, it's kind of like a very, very strong version. But yeah, so anyway, feel free to try it. Again, like really different uh, levels of difficulty are available, so I hope you enjoy playing this game as well as watching the games. And the next project uh, I'm going to accomplish would be uh, generating uh, the puzzle positions for a CNC puzzle solver that I have here. So let's say here we have made in two, quite pretty simple. And if we solve, we just go for another position. So again, like we have made in two like this. And again, we have made in two like so. So, uh, but only three positions. Uh, it's really miserable number of positions. So I'm gonna be generating really lots of position from from the games of the game viewer so not only from this Liu Dahua games but from all the 40,000 games that I have so just to give you a very quick idea regarding the uh, all the games that I have so I have a CNC database folder here here is the folder and you can see the samples for a game so I have them in different formats or like traditional international so just can have a look at this on your own. So th these are just the samples, but I have really uh, lots of games. If we just go to, let's say, download in UCCI and UCI annotation, the one that I use for my engine. So it's an archive here. So it's really uh, kind of lots of games. Uh, obviously, assuming the Unicode for international traditional format it would be bigger. Well, not significantly here, but it doesn't matter. So feel free to download the databases. So eventually I've scraped 43,000 of games, but uh, uh, also we can down you can download the games by Luda Dahua and Hurdon Hua. And just in separate, just selected these games because I really like love these two grandmasters and how they play. So yeah, feel free to play around. By the way, you can use, well, let's say, let's say I just take some sample here. So view sample. So let's take this, uh, Zhao Guron versus Ke Yonqin. So let's take this game. So you can just copy the game, go into the game viewer and paste the game in and click the low PGN. So it's loaded. Good. Uh, so now you can watch the game that you have customly load into, uh, into this uh, CNC game viewer that I've created for you guys. So this is how it works. Well, okay, guys, this uh, this is it from my side. Uh, I will now go and try to generate the puzzle positions. So a new video hopefully to arrive quite pretty soon, and probably making videos on how how I solve the positions might be a little bit more interesting compared to watching how I try to analyze the Grandmaster games where I don't under understand most <laughs> greatly. But yeah. So we'll see how it goes. And again, like I would really appreciate if some of some some of you guys who's making CNC videos would be using my apps in order to highlight uh, GM games or even play versus uh, my engine to that that might be uh, also very interesting. So hope to see. Uh, ho ho I'm waiting for your feedback, feedback guys. Hope to see you playing my app. This is app absolutely totally free. So enjoy. Enjoy it on your own. This is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.